Hi, today we're going to take the Ferris wheel out of the off the layout and I actually have to unhook it from underneath here uh, because all the electrical cords are uh, basically tied in, you know, in, in, into the wood so that they don't flop around for when somebody's underneath the layout trying to work on something else. So first that's, I got to uh, get all my little connectors off or a little wraps off, uh, you know, and plug it. One more here, and okay, now I can unplug it, and everything's ready. I mean, this is all now one unit, so now all I have to do is go up, up on, lay, on top of the layout and unhook and pull the whole Ferris wheel right up. Okay, there's a lot of landscaping that was done around the Ferris wheel to kind of um, make everything smooth and uh, so those things have to come off first the little buildings got to come up it's just glued down so it's just a matter of hoping I don't wreck the whole thing getting it out of there like that okay And then I got to find where my edges are. Now when I put this in here, what I did was I used gauze that was it's impregnated with the plaster. It's the same kind of stuff they use for plaster casts around your arm, your leg, whatever. Uh, we actually sell it here in our hobby shop. It's really nice stuff, especially for uh, a small section if you just got to lay out a uh, uh, landscape just a small section okay you can see when this was put in actually used I used actually cardboard around this edge <clears throat> so that's all got to come out of there no big deal like that'll be put back later why are you taking the ferris wheel home well the ferris wheel I want to repaint uh, for our 50th anniversary <coughs> I just kind of thought it was uh, do for a paint job and also I gotta rebuild the um, uh, drive mechanism because this the one I built this one before I didn't use quite a big enough pulley on the motor itself so there's just a small pulley that's actually pulling the string as you can see the string is here the drive string is right here and uh, if, it, if you use a, a larger pulley on the motor it actually drives it a lot easier because there's a lot more surface on that pulley to grab onto the string so every now and then what will happen is the uh, the tension on the string gets loose and then it doesn't want to turn the wheel so you got to come down push the wheel get it started hope it's going to last for a day it's one of those things that just has to be checked every morning. And wouldn't it be nice not to have to check that? Okay. Almost. Now, I got two screws in here. I use a lot of wood screws. I use a lot of, I use a lot of drywall screws. Drywall screws are fantastic. Now, I probably use a screwdriver to put these in with. The uh, electric drill with a screwdriver bit on it. I'm not going to do that because it's only one inch. So here we are. It should be about it. Now you can see when I made this, I made this so these all come apart so they don't get ruined. And there it is. There it is. Out. 
And can we see what you transported in? Okay, when I first made this, I had to build a transport box. So I made a little box specially built for transporting the Ferris wheel. And uh, it just drops down in. Like so. Now it doesn't get ruined between here and home where I'm gonna do some work on it. Because I, I can't do the work on it here, it just that usually doesn't work out well. So I've learned years ago not to try. Well, I've turned it around here, then I can put my screws back in it again. Once I put my screws back, it's good to go, and away I'll take it home.